Today we're making savory pull aparts in a Dutch oven. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're making savory pull aparts in a Dutch oven. This is a simple recipe that you're going to enjoy. We're going to start with some pre made frozen dinner rolls because we are Outdoor Skills Made Easy. We're going to use one stick of butter one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and one half teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's show you how that's done. So the coals are not quite ready, but there's enough heat there to heat the butter. So we're gonna put our pan right on there, and we're going to add the Italian seasoning, one teaspoon, then we'll add our garlic powder, one half a teaspoon, and just encourage that to melt. While this is melting, we're going to go ahead and oil our Dutch oven, Add a little oil to the Dutch oven, just like you're seasoning it. Not very much. Rub that around, get the bottom and all the sides. Time to cut up the dinner rolls. I'm going to use my ulu knife that I really enjoy, and we're going to cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. Time to put on the melted butter. Then we'll let it rest and rise until the coals are ready. And then as I taught before, flip your pan over, avoid all the drips. Now the coals are ready, we're going to set them out using the rule of three that we taught in another video. Basically that is, if you have a 10 inch Dutch oven, we're going to subtract three. So we'll put seven coals on the bottom and add three coals to the top. So 13 on the top, seven on the bottom, we should have an oven about 350 degrees. Let's go. Let's set that oven on. We'll put 13 coals on the top and let it cook for about 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, let's check it out. Whoa, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna just put a fork in it. Look at that, beautiful crispy on the top. So perfect. Let's try that. Whoa, that is perfect on the inside, a little crunchy on the outside, and so flavorful. That is a wonderful treat. We hope that you enjoy making this recipe, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.